Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction. Today, we're going to be watching season two, episode seven of The Boys. Now, guys, I'm so happy that you guys are just as excited as I am jumping into these episodes because, guys, from episode four all the way to where we are now has been just nonstop incredible incredible shows like i've been loving these episodes because the pacing man like the pacing is just so it's so good and the way that they're displaying all this information and then obviously having a lot of fun with just just the superhero environment and taking social issue jabs at i mean kind of like what's happening now in real life i love it i love that they're doing this in a very smart manner you know, it doesn't seem too forced. It doesn't seem too uh, out of character for this comic book series. And I'm loving it. I love that they are taking this approach and I'm really excited to jump forward into kind of what we can find out more about, obviously characters like Homelander and Stormfront and just like even that one girl that we were kind of introduced to, the one who like a carrot <laughs> imploded the dude. Yeah, she seems like a problem. So I wonder how she's gonna work into all of this. I mean, we're wrapping up. I think we just have like what one more episode i think there's maybe only what eight episodes and we're already on the seventh one so we're wrapping up i'm really interested in seeing how this actually wraps up and if there will be a season three um yeah guys this is just awesome if you guys want to check out the full length version which i always recommend definitely check out the patreon link below we have an awesome patreon community i mean you guys are getting early access you guys have a community you guys devote on polls and all that good stuff and overall i mean they're just phenomenal people so if that's something that you're interested in definitely check out the link below but like always guys i'm going to stop talking the top right into episode seven season two of the boys there are illegal immigrants pouring into this country every day, and any one of them could be a super terrorist. Many are calling for more super Man, you can kind of already see the posters like around this guy's room. It's crazy that, like, you know, we're actually seeing the perspective of a citizen. Going to hold hearings on thought and It's 145. I mean, just the crazy bombardment of just media. It's almost as if the media itself is a super villain as well. Keep America safe again, and I am so glad that I was there this time. But what about you? I am counting on you. Have a good day, hon. Oh, man. Yeah, I can definitely see this steady progression of just mind warping, perspective bending. This is very true as of what's happening right now at this very moment. You fucking super villain? What? Are you bulletproof, motherfucker? Oh, please. I have oh a wow, please. this is crazy. What the f- Yo! We've never had Congress on our side before. Congress? Please. What a bunch of corrupt fucking cunts they are. Oh, come on. And that's the one thing about Butcher is that he's also an extreme on the other side as well, too. You know, like... The duality between obviously the heroes and the anti-heroes you know there are people who are in the gray area like huey and you know mm but then you have like extremes like homelander and stormfront and then butcher would you like a coffee um no thanks how about a, a white chocolate unicorn frat they're really good no i'll get one i just really love how this show is just shot you know like like, there are really good cinematography movements here that I think really goes unnoticed because of how well it's able to cinematically tell the story here. Like, I think it's just really well done, obviously, from the lighting, the coloring, the color grading, and, you know, just everything that's on the frame. I am in the middle of all of it. Alone. Mm. Honey, you're not alone. Yeah, that must be a really um, daunting feeling, you know, trying to find yourself in this world where everything is just motivated by money and greed. Be looking. Oh snap! Oh, this is bad. Woo! Oh man, the mom is always effing up. I can't blame her, but. You got to do better than that. Damn it. <laughs> I 
Oui, maman. I'm happy that those two were able to kind of, you know, make up from that because, man, seeing Serge all emotionally beat up like that really pulls at the heartstring. Wow. Okay. Can I see you, please? I need to see you right now. Wow. Wow. Okay. A little bit on Butcher's father. Oh, snap. Actually, you're worse. Wow. Okay. Tuck Fluffer. Jeez. I feel really bad for Huey, man, because, like, just seeing him at the beginning of episode one, season one, and then seeing him now, he has improved, but I can get why he feels that way. Doesn't help that Lamplighter is a, is a douchebag about it. Remember... Before these godless, inhuman supervillains started pouring across our borders and dragging us down into the man, it's I, I love this show because I think this is exactly probably what would have happened if superheroes were within, like, you know, politics. One or two, but forget it, man. It's crazy. Hey, show me, come with me. Look at you, you're still fucked up, which is exactly why I need your help. Get your. Friends. Butcher isn't picking up in the other. That's the thing. Like Huey is about that action when it comes down to it. Like, I'm sorry, dude, but like Huey got some balls on him. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah. let's go fuck the wife. <laughs> Guys, I love this show. I love this show. Please don't show this to your kids, though. Oh, yeah, that's definitely his father. Oh, my goodness. Look at that leather jacket he has. <laughs> Again, I'm loving these camera angles. I mean, they're just so... They, they really do bring the life out of this series. I feel like if it was shot in, in any other way, or I us just say normally, if they didn't have, like, a pretty good eye for the show... It may not have fit the craziness of it. Because, damn, this series looks so good. Oh, you're welcome, Marcel. What a relationship. You're a fucking monster. I just want to know. Wow. Yo, did you guys see his his eyes? Damn, Butcher's rage is just absolutely just, it's on the tipping scale. Like, in many ways, he's almost like Homelander when he's, like, enraged, you know? I think that's why those two kind of almost complement one another, even though they're polar opposites. I have something I want to show you. You will not make me feel for Stormfront. I'm sorry. You would have to... Pull some godlike emotions to make me feel for Stormfront. Hey guys. Hello. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Oh no. This is this is not good. Alright, well, Ryan, love you to meet my girlfriend. Stormfront. Wow, he looks just like This is incredibly awkward. <laughs> this is so This is so awkward. <laughs> Ryan is just like, who who are you guys? A lot more. I want us to be a family. Yeah, I bet you're wishing you went with Butcher now. Freaking goodness, man. I'm so mad that she didn't do that. Like, what the heck? But I'm not. I just need time. I knew she was going to freak. I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry. Wow. Dude, yo, these scenes are so good. Like I said previously, like, have you guys noticed the pacing of it? You know, they don't drag too much on certain scenes, but yet, you know, the feeling of it is still there. It still hits the mark. I thought you were tired. Dr. Vogelbaum? 
I thought you were taller. <laughs> Yo, he's in a wheelchair now. He's in a whole wheelchair. What did Homelander do to him? Do what you like to me. But some things are more important than the right thing. Wow. Wow, so that didn't go as planned. That's... That's really, um... That's really complex thing to say, actually. Except mm. your family. Go. And never come back. I wish I had. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, this has been like a tug of war with M.M. ever since. Because he's always doing it for his family, you know? He's a really good man. But, wow. I wonder what he chooses. I really do. Life has always been hard, but I don't remember it being quite this crude. I get it. What she's doing with her daughter. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck? What is that, like a mortar? Like what? To hear about your family. Hmm. Keep them alive a bit longer. Wow. If you'd ever like to teach me. Surrogate, man, you're, you're great. You're fantastic, man. You're incredible. That was such a beautiful thing to say. I'm seeing gun. Nice. Oh, man. Guys, I'm telling you, I love what they're doing with these scenes. Like, they're just spending, like, two, three minutes per scene, and it's just so good. Like, I think other than that, it could be, like, you know, if they just didn't do it correctly, it would just be a little bit too quick pace. But they're doing a phenomenal job with the pacing. It's just so good. The program had failed. Him, That's crazy. He failed the program. You see how it just... He doesn't exist. Like, there's, there's like all these ah. pockets and sides. Oh, they're like they teams. The and they just manipulate their own community to the point where like... You know, if you're led astray or if you feel like an outlier, they just all turn on you. That's so crazy. We see it with Vault, we see it with the Seven, we see it with even the boys, and now we're seeing it with, like, the Scientologist group. Be a fucking human being. Right? Right? I'm really sorry, Maeve. Honestly. She's just constantly, constantly just <laughs> robotic. Happy someone said it. <laughs> wow. That, that it's <laughs> Yo, oh, this is so interesting. I love the dynamics that they're taking. This is so interesting. But you will not like me. You will not you will not allow me to fall for Stormfront. Did she just say PewDiePie? Uh, let's see, there's Homelander Origins, uh, Homelander Rise of a Hero, Homelander Darkest Day, Homelander Brightest Night. Oh, your dad is... That's crazy how he just positioned himself right in front of her. Just completely trying to block her out of the picture. That's a great idea. You two, stay here, get to know each other better. Okay. This whole interaction is just completely... It's awfully awkward. Like, it makes me cringe 360 degrees. It's really good, though. To give him a, a childhood you never had, we can do that if he's here with me. Hmm. Please, I'm begging you, please. Wow. Oh, my goodness, man. This acting's so good. Wow, that was, that was like one of the few moments where Homelander was very adult with how he handled that situation. Because at the end of the day, it is his child, despite how much of a chaotic maniac he is. That is his son. And the way he had that conversation with, you know, his wife, or not his wife, but... You know, his son's mother is was, was very adult. That was very mature. I love how they handled that scene to just showcase, like, you know, Homelander isn't just a kid. He has grown. He's just chaotic. <laughs> it was for me. I 
I feel like Butcher's now asking the right questions. Was it? It wasn't Homelander who had my. They're both showcasing very adult tendencies now. Because, like I said previously, they're both extremes. Your whole fucking family dies today. Wow. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Dude, Butcher is menacing. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to make my dad proud. <sighs> oh no, I'm not liking this frame. No! Oh my goodness. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, man. What the heck? Now what? Oh my god. I wonder if he, like, did he do that? Did he do that knowingly or like what? That's so wild. Oh, Huey, you are getting down and dirty, bro. Oh, yo, this entire episode is just crazy. Oh, God, that's gruesome, man. That is gruesome. Yo, Black Noir is a problem. You're, you're going to have to handle him. You're going to have to handle him for sure. Because he is an issue. Bruh, he is just haymaking this giant stone wall. Like, who is this guy? Oh, dude, you gotta do something. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. Woo! Maeve, thank you. What the frick? Yo, you, you are not about to tell me Black Noir just got bested by a, a, an almond snack. Try to rescue you, dude. Huey's that. Huey is that dude, man. He's always getting himself beat up, though. But hey, he's that dude. You're a liar. You lied to me. What do you mean? He just flew me up and showed me that this house is fake. The neighbors are fake. You're fake. Oh no! Oh no! All right, he needs his mother. Don't worry, he'll still have a mother. Hey, wow. Ryan! Ryan! Hey, Ryan! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You should have left with Butcher. I'm so mad. Because this could have been avoided if you just left with Butcher. Damn it. I'm so mad. <laughs> I promise. You got a right bloody nerve, you do. I didn't mean for it to go so bad. I'm sorry. I love the wide shots in these in these frames. Like specifically here. I wonder what lens that they're using because this lens just it the way that it's Framing the space is really, it's really interesting. He's a cunt. Like you see here, like I have to really give shout outs to the cinematographer here because like it's just so good. It really does bring forth some of these frames and makes them feel alive. And mounted. What? Church spokeswoman Carol Mannheim had this to say. He's been spreading slanderous and defamatory rumors about our religion. Oh my goodness, man. This is so crazy. Like, I'm telling you, the biggest villain and the most terrifying one is the media. The way the media is just able to just be so manipulative is honestly just immensely terrifying. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. 
You have five minutes to make your opening. Whoa! Oh! Yo! Oh! Who is doing that? Whoa! What is that? Oh my goodness, everyone is dying. Everyone is dying. Yo, yo, what is happening? What is happening? You gotta be kidding me, man. You can't just do that to me. You can't just have everyone's head exploding and then just leave me off on a song I can't even play because of copyright reasons. I don't want to get copyright claimed. I'm just, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in shock right now. Okay, guys, we just wrapped up episode seven of The Boys season two. Um, what is happening? Why are people's heads exploding? Now, I have one theory, right? I have one theory. And I'm not sure if this is even going to be right, hence why I call it a theory. But I know there was something going around and the original, you know, the first season of The Boys, where there was this fly. It was like this fly kept getting in the frame. And everybody was like freaking out about it. They were like, what the heck is that? Because it would like legitimately, routinely show itself in the frame all the time. Like you would notice it. And obviously from like a filmmaking perspective, you don't want to have a freaking fly in the shot. So like, I wonder if that is like some super secret undercover Vot uh, super who is like going around and like somehow exploding people's heads. That's my that's my guess. I'm making it here just in case if we do find out what the heck it is. But that is my guess. That's the only guess I can think of. Because other than that, I legitimately don't know who is capable of freaking imploding people's heads unless it's that one chick that we saw and we left off at at the you know at the prison break who is able to like implode people's bodies. But we know it's probably not her. So I'm just confused. I'm just confused. Guys, this was crazy. This was an awesome episode, though. Absolutely phenomenal pacing, as always. The cinematography is gorgeous. I, I, I fall in love with how they're shooting some of the frames here, how they're telling the story through the camera. And I think it's doing it incredible amounts of justice. And just the acting. Man, Butcher is so good. He's so good. Like, I'm loving his character even more. And I'm excited to see what happens in episode 8. This is insane. I'm kind of speechless right now. But... Guys, we're coming closer to what seems to be the season finale. So let me know what your thoughts are, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode. As always, be safe, be healthy, stay hydrated, because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches, cause they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the backseat